Hi everyone and welcome to our counseling moment of the week. I'm Miss Pierce, the school counselor at Collins Arts Elementary School. And I'm Miss Smith, I'm the school counselor at Meadow Lake Elementary and St. Elma Elementary. And we're so excited to come to you today and share one of our counseling lessons with you. Yes, we're so excited that you guys are tuning in with us today. We miss you guys so much. Um, I know that we're all missing our students and our teachers um, and all of our friends here at school. Um, today, we want to focus on staying motivated and moving. Um, so that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. Just to start off, um, we know we're going through this thing called a pandemic. Um, it's just a really big word, meaning that it's happening all over the world. Um, but that doesn't mean that we have to be scared and it doesn't mean that we're in it alone. Um, as you can see, we have unique opportunities that we can focus on spending time with family and learning new tricks and staying healthy. Um, we can also make new memories and have new experiences. And we won't get this time back, so it's really a, a good time to um, take, in, take into account that, um, you know, to really be intentional during this time. Yes, absolutely. You know, while we're missing um, our friends and our teachers, um, we have time to be at home together with our family. Um, and during this time, we still want to make sure that we're staying healthy mm -hmm. um, and doing our very, very best in our schoolwork. So that's what we're really going to be talking mm -hmm. to you guys about today. And just a reminder, don't forget to social distance and wash your hands when you're coming in from outside. If you have to go to the grocery store with mom and dad, um, whatever you're doing, you know, just stop, take a minute, and uh, don't forget to wash your hands. Okay, oh, well, you can go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, during this time, like I was saying, we're gonna stay motivated and moving. Um, while we're away from um, our, our school buildings, it can be kind of hard to stay in a routine. Um, so Ms. Pierce is gonna kind of talk a little bit about keeping a normal schedule during this time. The most important thing to remember is to get enough sleep at night. So before you start your day, make sure you're getting a minimum of eight hours every single night. You wanna wake up refreshed, you wanna wake, wake up ready for the next day for whatever challenges you may face. So once you wake up, you wanna make sure that you're waking up at an appropriate time. So we're not sleeping till noon, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. We wanna make sure that we're waking up in enough time to eat breakfast, have a healthy breakfast. It's one of the most important meals of the day. Uh, we wanna make sure that we have enough time to do our lessons. So I always say 10 to 12 is probably a good time to just strictly focus on your lessons. That way when you get done, you have time for lunch, um, eat a nice healthy lunch. Mobile County is doing this awesome meal plan where they're offering meals to you. Don't forget to um, utilize that. And the most important thing I feel like to me is to spend at least 30 minutes outside every single day. So as you have a break, you're able to rejuvenate your mind and you're not stuck inside all the time. Yes, and we all know that when we need a break, um, we want to get our bodies moving. We want to we want to do something active. So some things that you can do to be active uh, might include riding your bike, uh, maybe doing a race with your brothers or sisters, or maybe some people in the neighborhood, um, painting or playing with chalk outside, um, taking a walk. Um, playing outside with your brothers and sisters, climbing a tree, anything like that to get um, our bodies moving and staying active. I know one thing that's been really cool for me in my neighborhood is the kids have taken chalk and painted murals on their um, fences and on their sidewalks. And when you pass by, like say I had to come here today, when I passed by I got to see all their wonderful creations and it was so inspiring and it just uplifted me a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. yes. so Ms. Pierce really just focused on making sure that our bodies are staying moving and motivated. Um, keeping that schedule that Miss Pierce was talking about is really going to help keep our bodies on a routine. Just as if we were going, um, waking up in the morning, getting on our bus or getting in carpool and going to our schools. And that's very important to help us stay focused on our lessons and keep our body in a nice normal routine. Um, what I'm going to focus a little bit on now is our emotional health. Um, and what emotions means, if you can remember, is our feelings, the way that we feel, if we're happy, if we're sad, if we're worried about something. And our emotional health is just as important as our physical health. Um, so there are many, many ways that we can take care of our emotions, um, just like if we would exercise for our physical health. So for our emotional health, we can um, do some breathing techniques, and Ms. Pierce is actually gonna talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about breathing techniques. 
Um, we can play games with our family, whether it's charades or board games. Um, we can write letters. Like I've mentioned several times, we're definitely missing the people we're used to see used to seeing on a regular basis. So maybe writing a letter to our teacher or a letter to our friends just to kind of get those emotions out. Um, even having a cool down time. Um, and like I said, Ms. Pierce is going to talk a little bit about that. So I know my kids at Collins Roads love it when we practice mindfulness. We do breathing exercises. Sometimes we even do some, some yoga poses that just help us to, to calm down. Um, a lot of times you feel frustrated when you can't get it or you can't ask your teacher um, you know, oh, I, I don't, I don't understand. Um, and so, especially during a time like this, so it's really important to slow down, to take a minute and to breathe. And so I actually did this on the way here um, earlier because I was a little nervous. Um, and so just in the car, I put one hand on my belly and we always breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And when you breathe in, you want to feel your belly expand. So that means move out. And then when you breathe out of your mouth, you want to feel your belly go in. So it's going to look like this. Okay, and you can do that five to ten times. Just really focusing on your breathing, not, not thinking about anything else. And it's going to help you to feel um, rejuvenated um, and just calmer. Um, and you're able to focus more. Yes. Um, so the next thing I want to focus on is um, a kindness challenge. And just with, um, like Ms. Smith was talking about your emotional health, this also enhances your emotional health as well because you're doing something kind for someone else. So I'm challenging you to do one kind act every single day. It doesn't have to be anything big. You don't have to like do something huge or you know anything like that. It could just simply be cleaning your room uh, without your mom telling you to, or it could be um, helping cook dinner or, um, maybe even like writing a letter to one of your family members just to tell them how much they mean to you. Yes, there's tons of kind things that we can do um, for people in our community during this time. Um, all of my kids at Meadow Lake and St. Elmo know that I preach, preach, preach about being kind and showing kindness mm -hmm. wherever we go and the importance of that, not only for other people, but for ourselves as well as how that helps our emotions when we can take the focus off of ourselves and put it on someone else that can just help us feel like we're doing good in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and so another great way that we can show kindness during this time is caring for our essential workers. And what that means is we have, while we might be able to stay at home right now, there's lots of people in our community who cannot stay at home. Mm -hmm. Our doctors, our nurses, our um, individuals who work at grocery stores, mm -hmm. um, people who work at um, power plants and factories and all these things that helps our world stay going. Oh, restaurants, restaurants absolutely. Mm -hmm. So maybe um, we're in kindergarten and we don't know how to write a letter yet. That's okay. You can draw a picture for someone, color a picture mm -hmm. for someone, and get your grown up to help you spell words. If you are in my three through five grades, you know, maybe taking time to write a letter to some of our essential workers and thank them for all that they're doing mm -hmm. during this time. Um, but as Ms. Pierce was saying, finding something to do that is kind mm -hmm. every single day um, is going to help us stay con feel connected to others mm -hmm. during this time, as well as support the people in our communities that need support. Another example would be, um, I actually saw this the other day in my neighborhood. Um, a kid drew a picture just on like a little sticky note and put it on their mailbox. And so when their mail worker came by to drop off their mail, they got a little happy. And so, um, you know, just something simple. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be anything major. Um, just something that's going to put a, a smile on someone's face. So. Okay, everyone. So I just want to review kind of what we've talked about today. Um, we have talked about making sure our bodies are staying healthy. And the biggest way that we're helping you guys understand that is keeping a normal schedule, waking up at a good time, mm -hmm. um, eating a healthy breakfast, eating healthy lunch, and having a good normal bedtime, just like we would if we were in our school buildings. Um, taking advantage of the wonderful feeding program that Mobile County has set up and getting our breakfast and our lunches if we need to do so. Um, and really, really doing our best to stay focused on our lessons during this time, just like if we were in our teacher's classroom um, and doing the very, very best that we can do. Mm -hmm. Guys, we love you so, so, so much. And I, and I, I think I speak for myself and Miss Smith and, and all your teachers and counselors and principals when I say we cannot wait to get back into the school building to give you a big old hug and to just love on you and to just spend some time with you. I think that's been the hardest thing for me is not being able to see my kiddos at Collins Roads. And so um, I just want to let you know, we miss you so, so much. 
and we, we love you and we think about you every single day and we want to give you anything and everything that you need. So if you need to talk to us, please contact us. Please contact your teachers, contact your principal, um, have your parents contact them because we're here for you if you need anything at all. And just remember that we can do this. We're in this together. Yes, absolutely. Like Miss like Miss um, Miss Pierce was saying, is we love you guys so much and we miss you and we want you to stay safe and healthy, mm -hmm. um, making good choices every single day so that you can come back and you're healthy and you're happy whenever we get to go back to school. Um, we miss you so much and we want the very very best for you. Um, and so we're gonna kind of end our lesson with this fun little video. Um, and it's a song, it's really, really catchy. <laughs> um, but it just is gonna remind us that you can do this, that you can do hard things, that you can, that we can get through this time together um, and we can do our very, very best every single day even though we're not in our actual school building. Um, you know, our homes are, have become our school buildings. Um, that you can do this, okay? That you can do your very, very best no matter whether you're not understanding a lesson, um, if you're feeling kind of sad, we're gonna get through this, okay? And we're gonna, um, we're gonna be able to come out on top. So we hope you guys have a great week. Um, we love you, we miss you, and we will see you again next week.